Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can model a glass of hot water. For this reason, we need a heat transfer and fluid flow physics. Geometry of glass is symmetry, uh, therefore, uh, I'm going to select uh, 2D axis symmetry geometry. I want to see temperature variation respect to time. Therefore, I'm going to select a time dependent in a select a study window. Dimensions of glass are in centimeters. So I'm going to click on drop down box and uh, select centimeter. I have to define a uh, fluid domain and a solid domain. I think uh, 5 mm thickness is enough for glass. Okay, we have a fluid domain for water and uh, a solid domain for glass. Water in glass is stationary and uh, I'm gonna enable the gravity. Material is water so I'm gonna define water for all of damming. I should check the fluid uh, physics solution then I add the heat transfer physics. Okay, I have to define boundary condition. I have defined a slip wall condition on the top of the glass. Well, uh, this error was predictable. It's necessary to determine a point or boundary condition for the problem. So I determine a point with zero pressure on the surface of the water. Now we can see the results. Now it's time to add heat transfer physics to my model. Okay, I'm gonna enable the multiphysics. Uh, we have a, a natural convective heat transfer in the outer of glass wall. Height of glass is 10 centimeters. The water temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to define the glass.
convective heat leaves the surface of the water. Solid domain is glass uh, and I'm going to define silica glass for the solid domain. Material are in consistence because I must omit solid domain in the laminar flow physics. Now it's time to set the time, the time interval and after that I click on compute. I want to see the temp temperature change over time, therefore I'm going to create a 2D plot and define temperature plot. Temperature at zero time is 80 degrees Celsius and decreases over time. 